Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Are you ready for your mini routine for today? So let's start. We're going to start lying on our back. So feel comfy. And remember that you can put your own music, something to keep you into the mood. Okay? But if you prefer that we put ourselves the music, let us know in the comments. Okay? What do you prefer? So we're going to start with our breathing exercises. So relax on your back, extend your legs if you feel comfy, relax your shoulders, relax your face, move your hands on your tummy, we inhale deep and exhale. We're going to take a couple of breaths, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth with the sensation of fog in a glass. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, again, inhale, exhale, now we're going to do the same sensation, but this time we're going to keep our mouth closed, okay, so are you ready, inhale, that sensation of contracted throat but keeping your mouth closed. So exhale through your nose. Let's hold for a couple of times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Remember that you can use as well that contraction of the throat in the inhalation. So then you will have more control and this and in the speed and the amount of air in and out. So let's take a couple of breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Great. So we just keep deep, long breath the whole time. Doesn't matter if it crash with my instruction, it's good. But you just keep your rhythm, okay? And remember, you lose that sensation of contracting your throat. Just exhale again through your mouth. And then after you close, you, you close it, okay? So let's start. We're going to start bending our knees. Squeezing the knees close to your tummy. We take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to drop the feet. Extend your legs and your arms on the floor. Just like that. And we're going to repeat this a couple of times. So inhale. Legs in. Squeeze. Lift the head this time off the ground. Exhale. Drop your head. Extend your arms and your legs. Again. Inhale. Drag the legs in. Chin to chest. Exhale. Move your legs away and your arms away. Again. Inhale. Legs in, and exhale, move your legs away, and one more, inhale, and exhale, feels really good, try to keep your tummy engaged all the time, now we're going to move the legs towards to the right bottom corner of your mat, the two of them, and your arms to the right top corner of your mat, please, Stretch the spine side. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Move your legs other corners, so go us to the left corners of your mat, your arms and your feet, and we feel the spine stretching sideways, let's hold four breaths, inhale, and exhale, let's go for three, and exhale, let's go two, and exhale, and just one more. And exhale. And back to the starting pose. We're going to go on to child pose. So we bend the legs. We squeeze the knees to our tummy. 
We hold here just four breaths, feeling the release in your lower back. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Well done. Now drop your feet, move the right arm over your head, and we're gonna roll in towards the side. Now, when you're rolling towards the side, we're gonna rest completely on the side of the body. So you can rest your arm on the floor, your head on the floor, move your knees just in front of your hips, keep your feet together, and try to keep your feet again aligned with the knees. We're gonna start with a clamshell. So you can keep the other hand in front of your tummy to help us to don't move the hips backwards or forward. Now we're going to inhale and exhale. We're going to open the knee, but be careful that you don't open too much by pushing your hips backwards. We keep the hips stack. So let's go. Let, we're going to go for 10. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. We open. Inhale. Close. We keep going for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep the feet together, four, three, two, and last one. Great. Now we're going to extend the top leg mm -hmm. and we're just going to kick forward. Okay, so we go exhale as we kick forward, inhale back. And we can flex the foot when it's going forward and point the foot away when it's coming back. Let's go for the 10. 10, inhale backwards, 9, and backwards, 7. And six, five, four. You can always keep your hand on your hip if you feel you have more support. If you can have more support, your hip. Let's go for two and just one more. And we bend the leg, we catch our foot at the back, and we just push gently our hips forward to stretch our thighs. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Release your foot, extend both legs, and try to move the feet a little bit forward that you can you are able to watch your toes. Now we're gonna bend the top leg and we're gonna drag the knee close to our armpit as far as possible. We keep pushing our hips forward, use your palm and your toes, your little toe, to give you more stability in your hips. We hold here just squeezing the knee in, we hold four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Go for the three and exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. We extend the leg. Now the top leg, we're going to externally rotate so the toes pointing up. Keep your hand on the ground. If you feel it's not comfy this position on your head, you can always move your hand on your head and just rest in your head on your head. So this time we're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the leg as far as it feels comfy. And inhale, we drop it down. <laughs> Let's go again. Exhale, nine. And down. Eight. And down. As far as you can go without pain. Seven. Down. Let's go six. Let's go five, down. Let's go four, down. 
Let's go three down, two down, and just one more. Now we keep the leg up, and this time we're gonna hold our thigh, our ankle, or our foot to pull gently the leg. We try to extend both legs, and we just hold here for four breaths. Inhale. As far as feels feels a good stretch, but there is no pain involved. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. Inhale. You can always flex and point your foot, as you can see, to release your muscles. Release, bend your knee, move the foot at the back, and we stretch again our thighs. Push gently your pelvis forward to stretch deeper your thigh. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. One more. We release. We come all the way up, bend your knees, and we're going to do it in the other side. Now, I recommend to you that when you are doing these exercises, close your eyes and really connect with your body, feel the release, and concentrate on your breath as well. So we're going to lie down in the other side. Remember, you can lie down completely on your arm, or you can keep your arm, your hand on your head and resting your head on your hand. Move the knees, just align with your hips and your feet. Just pretty much align as well. I'm gonna just rest here. And ready? So we're gonna go the clamp first. Inhale. Exhale. Open your knees, keeping your feet together. And release. Let's go for nine. And back. Eight. Down. Seven. Down. Six. Down. Five, four, eight, three, it's really good. Two, don't push too much the hip backward, just to open wider. And one more, good. We extend the leg, we're gonna, and we're gonna kick forward. Are you ready? Inhale, exhale, forward, ten, and nine, and eight, if I miss my number, sorry, let's go, seven, and six, and five, four, three, keep your tummy in, two, and just one more. Now bend your leg, catch your foot at the back, we stretch our quad, so we push our hips forward, we hold for four breaths. Always your palm is helping you to have more stability. Let's hold for four. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, and exhale, and just one more, and exhale. Now we extend both legs, but try to move your feet slightly forward that you are able to watch your, your toes. Now use the little toe on the ground to help you to have a stability and your palm as well if you have your arm on the ground. Now we're going to bend the top leg and we're going to squeeze the knee towards to us. Be careful to don't let the pelvis drop backwards. Keep your hips stacked. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Good. Now we're going to lift the legs. So keep your hand in front of your tummy for stability. Rotate externally your legs so your toes pointing towards the ceiling. 
inhale and exhale, lift your leg. Good, and we just keep going. You always can lift with the foot flex and bring it down with the toes point. Let's go for nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and um, two let's go one more and one now we catch the leg now if your leg cannot pull too much in so you can bend the knee and just put it in this way as far as you feel a nice stretch remember you can always hold the back of the knee you can always hold your ankle or your foot and we just stretch here Again, we can always flex and point our feet just to release the, te release the tension in the legs. So ready? Let's hold for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Bend your knee, move the foot at the back, and we stretch our quads. Great. Let's go for four. Remember, close your eyes, completely connect with your body. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. The last one. Inhale. And exhale. We release, we move all the way up, sitting. We're gonna go on to a half pigeon. So from here, we're gonna move our legs to the front. Now here, I'm gonna do it first in this direction so you can see my legs clearly, but then I'm gonna turn around so you see clearly the position, okay? So from here, we're gonna move the legs on the side. The top leg, we're gonna drag it just backwards, moving aligned with the hip, and the front leg, it moves forward. So it's kind of straight lines from the hip to the knee, to the knee to the ankle, and from the hip to the knee. And we have here a perfect square in between our legs. But always keep your pelvis facing forward. Try to don't go at the back or sideways. Maybe some of us, our knees a little bit higher. That's okay. We don't try to push the knee back. Now I'm gonna turn at the back so you can see it how it looks from the back. So it's important that the back foot is really close to us or as far as we can, and you can rest it on the front, on the front, on the top of the foot. Okay. So this is gonna look like from behind. So are you ready? Good. So from here, we're going to adjust the same position. It's half pigeon. We're going to lean forward. We try to be very parallel to the ground. And we just hold here. You can keep your arms uh, just at the, uh, kind of holding your leg. Ready? Let's go for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. No pain in your knees. Two, and just one more. We raise our torso, and this time, just beside our hip, we're gonna slide our hand, we're gonna drop the elbow, swing the other arm over your head, palm facing down, and we just go side stretch. Keep your feet active, everybody. We hold here for four, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. Keep your tummy in even when you're stretching. Two. And just one more. Then we come all the way up. We move the knees at the front. We squeeze our legs. And let's go other side. So first move the legs to the side. Remember the top leg, just move the knee. Just 
beside your hip and then the other foot move forward and again if our hips are uh, sorry our knees coming up is fine okay don't push your knee down you remember never push your joints the stretch is here in the leg that is kind of externally rotate so we concentrate in this area we're gonna lean forward as far as comfortable for us always remember no pain involved so let's lean forward and we just as far as we can go maybe i can just go tiny that's fine keep your hips facing forward and we're just gonna hold here for four inhale and exhale let's go for three two and just one more We raise and we're gonna go lateral flexion. So our arm just is like in front or beside our hip. We let the elbow go down and we move the other one over and we just stretch here. Well done, we're gonna hold here for four breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, exhale. Let's go two, Just one more. And slowly we raise the torso. Move your legs to the front. We're gonna squeeze the knees to us to our tummy. Sit in child pose. Let the head drop. We take here four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two and just one more. Drop your feet. Well done. It's gonna lie down on our tummy for cobra. And remember here in cobra, move your hands in the middle of the chest and then slide your hands away. Move your elbows away so you can let the chest go down. So for cobra, the most important is that we don't feel pain or discomfort in our lower back. So you always can move your hands closer to go higher or you always can move the hands away to go lower. So try once. And then you feel what is comfortable for you, that you don't feel nothing, no discomfort in your lower back, no pain, no pressure, no anything. They feel a nice stretch in your thighs and your tummy. So let's go. Choose your position. You can come closer to go higher or forward, forward, forward sorry, to go lower. And gently press your hips on the ground to engage your leg muscles. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the chest. Extend your arms, look to the front. Inhale at the top and exhale, we go down. Then you see you want to go a little bit higher, you change your hands. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale and exhale down. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale. And exhale down. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale, and exhale down. Inhale, and exhale up. This time we stay up. Press gently with the front of your feet and your fingertips. Lift your chest. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Release everybody. Move your hands close to your chest. Push your body up all the way. And we're going to take child pose just to give us a little rest on the lower back. So move your bum down onto your heels as far as comfy. Now move your palms together, bend your elbows, and then move your hands just behind your head. And we hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. 
to. And one more. We release back again onto all fours, everybody. And let's go down dog. Crawl the toes under. Push your hands, remember your index fingers pointing forward, use your fingertips, lift the knees, move your bum backwards, and we're just gonna inhale, lift your heels, exhale, heels go down. Let's go for a three, and down. Let's go two, and down. Let's go one, and down. Slowly drop your knees on the ground and slide the right knee forward. We're going to go a sleeping pigeon. Now you can keep your foot under your bum or you can open up a little bit in. It's up to you. Okay, it's, again, depends how you feel and never feel tension or pain close to your joints. So from here, we're going to bend the back leg, catch your left foot, and we're going to lean forward as far as we can go. In case that you cannot catch your foot, you can keep your foot on the floor. So let's hold here for four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three and exhale. Two and just one more. Drop your foot, raise your torso, take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, place your palms on the ground, push yourself onto all fours, back again, down dog, lift your knees, and we just call here. We can lift the heels up and down, we can bend one knee or the other one, or we just keep it static, pushing with your hands against the ground, pushing your tailbone backwards. Let's hold for four breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale, let's go two, just one more. Drop your knees, we're going to go other side of the sleeping pigeon, so slide the left knee, open your foot, and again, you can keep your foot on the ground, if you cannot reach your foot, you can use a belt as well, or you can just hold your foot and we lean forward, extending our thigh. We hold four breaths here, inhale, and exhale, let's go for three, two, Just one more. And drop your foot, raise your torso just to give a nice stretch here. We take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Fantastic. Now we come back again. Hands onto the ground. And last down dog. We go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three, and down, two, and down, just one more, and down, drop your knees, well done. Now remember, if you have time, you can just click on the chapter, or you can uh, find the chapter just below in the description and then come back to the beginning of the routine just to go again. But if it's your time to go, we just say goodbye with our last three breaths. We exaggerate those three breaths to give us energy. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Remember, we exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Hands back onto prayer position, and we say namaste. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next video. Remember that you can find us on Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio and Facebook as well. And you can follow our courses online in our online platform at sacredbodystudio.ie. Have a nice day.